Hi, today we're going to show a feature of SecRMM that lets you use PowerShell um, to set the SecRMM properties on remote computers. And this probably doesn't apply to most people who want to use SecRMM because they either are using SCCM, which is now called Microsoft Endpoint Manager, or they're using Active Directory Group Policy. But in small environments where you may not have these enterprise tools, you can still um, set the properties on multiple computers from a common point. So um, PowerShell is a really cool tool for this. And um, there's a uh, another component of PowerShell called WinRM, and it lets you execute scripts on remote computers. So we're not really going to get into programming PowerShell today, but um, really what I want to show you is here you can specify a list of computers that you want to connect to and, and change the SecRMM properties. And even though for this demo I'm just using this one computer named DC, I can have a common separated list. And then in here, these are the properties that I want to change in SecRMM. So I'm remoted here to DC, right? Here's DC, here's DC over here. And um, if I come here, here's here's the SecRMM UI inside of the computer management console. And so block programs on device, block programs on device is cleared. What else do we have? Allowed serial numbers, there's no value there. And then require smartphone login. So I can do this for any one of the properties that are listed here. I just chose these because it's a good example. And then if I look at the event log for SecRMM, where we know SecRMM records the administrators or any time a property change gets made, um, it'll get recorded in here. So you can see right now this is cleared out. And again, just to stress, I'm on a remote computer. I'm RDP'd to this DC. And here I'm on a, um, a computer named SecRMM Demo 1. And to even make the demo even cooler, I have these PowerShell scripts up on a network share. So these are on a completely different computer than um, SecRMM Demo 1, and it's just two scripts. So this remote SecRMM driver is going to do a connection, and you can see these are PowerShell commands. I'm going to create a new session where I'm going to remotely connect to the computers that are stored in this variable. And then um, once you can see that the session is opened, then we're going to loop through the SecRMM properties we have listed up here that I showed you. And it's going to, for each one of these, it'll call this script. And this script just is going to make the change to SecRMM. So you, that actually happens right here. OK, so, so this is the driver program. And then this is the guy that actually knows how to talk to SecRMM. So let's run this. So, so I'm just going to, this CMD file just calls this driver program. So let's execute that. And you can see it spits out some output telling you that it did its, did its thing here. And so we can see right away that here we got new events. And I'll just maximize this screen so we can read it. So here's require smartphone login get turned on. And down here, you can see it says that this program ran remote script. And remember, it was on the X drive from this computer, SecRMM demo, onto target computers DC. So we'll see that three different times. This was block programs on device. And this is allowed serial numbers. So here's our two made up, of course, serial numbers that are allowed to be used 
now on this computer. Okay, and then just to finish the demo, remember we were running SecRMM in monitoring mode, and none of these values were set. And, but if I refresh the screen now, you can see that they were set. So that is an incredibly quick demo of how you can use PowerShell remoting with SecRMM. Thank you very much, and have a good day.